Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Far Cry New Dawn with a very exciting video. In this video, I'm going to show and talk about and show gameplay with all 28 of the legendary weapons available in the game. Currently, you're watching one of the cooler ones on screen, which is the Unicorn Flamethrower. There's also a couple of Far Cry Blood Dragon weapons. There are some not so cool legendary weapons as well, but I'll be showing all of them for you guys. There's a couple of favorites, I'll talk about those as we get there. Now these are basically the best versions of all of the standard weapons in the game, and although there is no achievement or trophy for getting them, having a full collection is pretty cool, and probably something a lot of gamers are going to go for. Now if you just naturally play through the game, go for all of the difficulties for all of the outposts and expeditions, which you will have to do for separate achievements or trophies, you should have the majority of these unlocked like that. However, about four or five of them will require you to get a legendary animal skin, so you'll have to go hunting for a couple of them in specific. Now those will basically require a legendary kill of each animal, which you can work towards somewhat easily. Also, if you upgrade your cartography in your base, you'll unlock a map that tells you exactly where to find those legendary animals if you are struggling and want to unlock all of these as quickly as possible. Let's just get started with the first weapon on our list. One thing to keep in mind really quick is that these are ordered by the way the game shows them. So we're going to start off with some melee weapons, kind of work through some SMGs, some shotguns, some assault rifles, some sniper rifles, and then some specialty weapons. A couple of these kind of weapons near the beginning of the video are kind of lackluster, but there's a lot of really cool ones throughout, so make sure you stay tuned. Drop a like on the video if you find this video cool as well, and I'll make sure to make more for similar games in the future. We'll start off our list with the first melee weapon. It's called the Punk Bat. Uh, very simple, a baseball bat in a kind of steampunk style with some nails and kind of metal accents and... There's a little bit of piping on the bottom. It looks cool, but in terms of utility, it's not all that great. For the second weapon, we have the Nailed It Shovel, a shovel with a couple of nails in it. As a melee weapon, not very useful. As a throwable melee weapon, very useful. Next up, we have the Reality Shovel, another shovel. The only difference from this one and the previous one are the skin on it. Again, not a great melee weapon. Melee in general in Far Cry New Dawn, not a great tactic. Throwing these can be pretty deadly, though. Next up, we have the It's a Tarp P08. It is a handgun. It's a stealth gun, as it does have a silencer, which is a blue plastic tarp around the barrel. And it's a pretty good stealth weapon if you want to kind of get up close and personal and work your way through bases or outposts in order to clear them. A very cool weapon, although it is somewhat specific in its utility. We're still in the pistols. We will get to some more exciting weapons. Right now, we have the DIY D50. A pretty cool gun. Hits really hard. Does a lot of damage. It's really loud. It feels powerful. It's fun to use, but it is completely outclassed by all the assault rifles later on. Next, we have what I believe is the first must-have weapon, and that is the Blood Dragon AJM9, a pistol in the theme of Blood Dragon, which we remember is a Far Cry 3 kind of standalone spin-off game. It says that this handgun with muzzle fire and burst fire is the choice for all cybernetic organisms who enter the Force, a really fun gun to use.
Next, we have the Christmas Tape A99, our first kind of full-on SMG. It is a stealth SMG that uses a aerosol can for a suppressor or silencer, and it has a whole bunch of red tape on it kind of holding it together. Then we have the belted out BZ-19. I don't have a lot to say about this gun. It's kind of cool, but it's not very unique when compared to most of the others in the list. Moving on to the shotguns, we have the Spray Paint and Pray Spaz 12, a stealth shotgun with a silencer slash suppressor on it. And uh, it's pretty fun to use, but again, in most situations, outclassed by most of the guns later on in the video. Then we have the Such a Boar D2. This is a double barreled shotgun. Doesn't do a lot of damage, takes forever to reload. I wouldn't really recommend using this gun, but it looks kind of cool. Blissful Agony, this is another D2, which is the gun that we just kind of looked at. It is just designed to look a little bit different, but functions in the same way. Now we're getting into the good stuff, the assault rifles, the guns that'll actually help you get through the game. The Rock, Paper, Scissors ARC is a great example of that. It's a gun with a blade on the front, a very good all-purpose assault rifle to use for clearing out bases. You also want to keep in mind that a lot of these guns have either different firing modes or different types of ammo. So you can have like normal type ammo, uh, armor piercing ammo, incendiary rounds that light people on fire. You can, you know, full auto them or burst them in some cases. And uh, I'll be showing kind of all of the different modes for each of the guns. So when you see the kind of weapon wheel come up, that's what's being switched. And uh, yeah, just enjoy the gameplay for this and we'll continue on with the rest of the video.
Next up, probably one of my favorite guns and the one that I use the most during the game. It's called The Works. It is a stealth assault rifle with a blue tarp silencer. And it has a bunch of modifications, but the scope is kind of really easy to use. It hits enemies for a lot of damage. You're kind of quick on your feet while you use it with quick reloads. It's a good overall weapon to use. Then we have the Giant Tool M16. The M16 is a gun that I'm sure a lot of gamers are familiar with. Uh, graphically, or kind of like the actual legendary mods on it, aren't all that cool looking, but it is a very useful and practical gun. We then have the Radiation Pink AKMS Assault Rifle. Very cool skin on it. It's really fun to use just for the fact that it's so vibrant on your screen, but it's comparable to the other assault rifles. The length of pipe SA-50, we're getting into sniper rifles. This is probably my favorite out of all the sniper rifles. It is stealth. You can clear out entire bases without getting spotted, as you'll see in some of the gameplay kind of coming up. Very fun gun to use, although once you kind of get spotted, you're not really going to use it to defend yourself much. We then have the Space Force SA-50, another sniper rifle. This one is just designed to look a little bit differently, but stats-wise, it is almost identical or actually completely identical to the other SA-50 we just talked about. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I also think the Space Force name is somewhat tied to the kind of Space Force that was recently announced as a military branch in the US. Not sure if it's about that or maybe it's like the Space Force of Beyond Good and Evil 2, maybe someone in the comments knows a lot more than me and can fill me in.
Then we have the Gorilla Gear MBP 50 cal, another stealth sniper rifle, matte black, always in style. And this is part of the Gorilla Gear theme. Not sure if that is yet another reference maybe to Ghost Recon. Maybe someone in the comments can fill me in on this one too. Next up, we have the only light machine gun in the game that has a legendary variant. It is the Blunderbuss MG42. It's got a nose like a stubby trumpet, but it still packs a punch is the description in the game. A great weapon to have in your arsenal. Very useful in large battles. Highly recommended you grab this one and use it. The Bisonburger M79, it is a grenade launcher. Grenade launchers are not very useful in Far Cry New Dawn, and I would, for the most part, other than for the memes and the lols, I would completely stay away from grenade launchers in general. Uh, they're not very useful against enemies, they don't do very much damage, they're very hard to use, and uh, generally not a good time. We then have another M79, this one's called the Color Spray, same stats as the previous one, just designed to look a little bit different.
The Lucky Shot Compound Bow. Bows are obviously going to be good stealth weapons in general. If you want to kind of take your time going through bases, keep a medium length, and feel like a complete badass. But once you kind of get into the nitty gritty and you go for the actual big fights, compound bows are generally not that great. Our second Blood Dragon weapon, this is the Recurve Bow, another stealth weapon. This is the bow from Blood Dragon, and very cool, very fun to use. Uh, and I would recommend at least trying to kind of incorporate it into your gameplay, just for the cool factor. Then we have the flamethrowers. The first one is the weed killer. It is a <laughs> flamethrower and it, it's made to kind of look like it's for taking care of weeds in your garden. Then we have the Unicorn Flamethrower, probably the most unique of all of the legendary guns. It's a flamethrower, it's painted to look like a unicorn, and it shoots a rainbow flame along with stars and really cool to listen to audio. Very fun to use, not very effective, doesn't do a lot of damage. Enemies just kind of sit there and shoot at you while you spray them, but still a very cool weapon to add to your collection.
We then have our saw launchers. This one is the bear with me. It says the saw launcher has come a long way. So thank you for grinning and bearing through the journey. Here's an incredible tool of destruction. Saw launchers, not very effective. Don't do a lot of damage in the game, but fun to use. So you can kind of see the compromise in the relationships between the guns here. Some of them are really cool, really fun. Some of them very effective, less cool. You kind of have to find your own balance there. Then we have the Saw Launcher VT. This one launches guided and boomerang saws. So essentially they home in on your enemy. That sounds super cool, except for the fact that the saws don't do generally a lot of damage. So you'll have to shoot enemies a couple of times and the RPM is really slow and the magazine size is really low. Uh, cool concept. Uh, again, maybe not as practical as some of the other weapons when you get into the actual gameplay. And those are all of the legendary weapons available in Far Cry New Dawn. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Again, drop a like if it was fun to watch or you learned something or you think something, you know, it informed your opinion of Far Cry New Dawn, which is a pretty good game. Um, I would probably recommend it if you're a big fan of Far Cry 5. Thank you guys so much for watching. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. Special thanks to Double O as well. And hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Peace.